Global Discoveries, next Thursday at 9 on BBC Two. car NCAP has ever tested. Volvo, boxy, but safe, even when you're on foot. And now there is a prototype car in Japan that may have made some real progress. The Honda ASV3 has a bumper and grille made of highly flexible plastic, which, they tell us, can absorb much more of the impact of an accident than conventional designs. And apart perhaps from the colour, it looks nothing like a marshmallow. You might ask yourself, well, why do I want a pedestrian-friendly car? And the thing is, if a child runs out in front of you, and whether it's your fault or not, you want them to survive rather than being killed. If you kill a child, it stays with you for the rest of your life. It seems likely that car makers will have to accept new European laws on pedestrian safety within the next few years. And that can't be a bad thing, surely. But hang on a minute. I don't want to sound like a goody-goody, but none of this relieves us of our basic responsibility to drive considerately in the first place. Or walk considerately, for that matter. Or ride a bicycle considerately. Drivers, pedestrians, cyclists. You could always look where you're going. On Top Gear next week, we find the man who built his own Bugatti. And Tiff gets to drive the new Ferrari 360. Life just isn't fair. And Vicky Butler Henderson takes the wheel to give her opinion on one of this year's most eagerly awaited two seater convertibles in the June issue of BBC Top Gear magazine. We can't go to the country on Sunday because of the football. And then the weekend after, it's the Flaming Cup final. And today he says, right, he wants to go to Barcelona for the night. Yeah, yeah, in Spain. Oh, well, why do you think? Man United, of course. Flaming Man United. I mean, 400 quid it's going to cost him. And when I say to him, can we have new curtains, he says, no! On the cusp of a potentially historic season. I know. I know. An evening of programmes dedicated to the best football team of the 90s. But you know, he really is a look. He's only going to book that and go to Scotland the Italian in Wilmslow on Saturday. Yeah, for our anniversary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Saturday. Glory, Glory Man United is Saturday from 10 on BBC Two. Right, how much do I owe you? Oh, come on, wouldn't be right if I didn't pay you, would it? Cash it is, then. Once you've got a digital decoder, you can watch all the BBC's digital channels without having to pay an additional subscription. No, no, I really think I ought to pay something. Nothing. Look, can I offer you a small gift, then? No, nothing. Nothing. BBC Digital. Call us for more information. Coping with tragic and unexpected deaths. BBC Two talks to families who are trying to deal with their feelings in the long goodbye in 50 minutes. <laughs> Visiting worlds that defied imagination now as BBC Two heads for the planets. In August 1977, two spacecraft called Voyager began an incredible journey 